Step one, wake up, but we gon' rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Are you finishing wake the scores there, girl? Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, 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 today's gonna be a good day. Today, I'm going to talk about bloating stomach because I used to of this uh, in my life on TikTok. Um, I think it's kind of pretty important to share with you what I found out. I don't know this like probably a few months ago. Um, and then I found this kind of pretty important because sometimes we think that we are eating healthy and we are we, we are eating healthy but sometimes certain uh, vegetables or fruits it can cause uh, bloating stomach or it can uh, affect our metabolites or uh, digest so I kind of a person that is I'm kind of like a vegetarian. I mean, I do not eat red meat, and I love I eat and I love vegetables. So I never thought that vegetables can cause growing stomach. Uh, and I have a, I mean, everything start because I eat some uh, mushrooms. I bought some mushrooms and then I remember that all that week I eat mushrooms. I do a, like a little salad and I put mushrooms. And then after three, four days, my stomach was kind of big. And it looks like I was pregnant, like a three months, four months pregnant. And I was sure that I was in fat because i didn't need too much to say okay i went this way it, it wasn't impossible i do uh, exercise every day i healthy so the only difference that i did was eat mushrooms so it made me think something was wrong with my diet like something was wrong with those mushrooms and then I googled and I found out that the mushrooms cause blood in stomach. So I'm gonna read what I found on Google so you can see what I see what I saw in that moment. And it says Fruits and vegetables such as Brussels sprout, cabbage, cauliflower, carrots, prunes, and apricots are eaten that contain sugar and starches that may cause gassiness and bloating. So, when I saw that, okay, it makes sense. It, it doesn't talk about mushrooms but then i found out that another vegetables that i also eat cause learning stomach and then it says sweeteners can also cause gas and bloating such artificial sweeteners because it cannot be digested so these vegetables cause uh bloating stomach because it have a sugar that is hard to digest for our body so every time that we eat the same vegetables every single day for weeks without leave our body take a break working to digest and broke all all this sugar in order to digest from the body right to throw away whatever is is not good and take the nutrients the body is working every day to try to broke the sugar 
and while it work to do that our stomach is getting big and big and big and big and big because we don't let him take a break we give him constantly these vegetables so i do an experiment with myself and i stop eating these mushrooms and after some days like few days my stomach get flat and then i found out that the mushrooms really caused me bloating stomach and then i check my diet and also i eat tomatoes and tomatoes also cause uh, bloating stomach so i avoid eat tomatoes i avoid eat mushrooms uh broccoli cauliflower all these vegetables i love them so like that, that i do is like i eat a salad with these vegetables one time a week so i let my body break down the sugar time to digest and throw away everything that we my body don't need and don't make hard for my body to digest this. And I, I the, the, the rest of the days I can eat um, cucumber, zucchini, carrots, spinach. These are lettuce. These are really good vegetables that don't cause blood in stomach. And you can do a really nice salad, you know? So this is pretty important that you recognize your body and know what can hurt your body and what can help your body. Um, definitely for me, dairy, like milk, cheese, uh, beans, uh, oats tomatoes, mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower, all these uh, cause bloating. I, I usually, uh, I was eating before um, fruit with oats and yogurt. And I always walk with my stomach kind of a little bit bloating. And I was wondering what, what it can be. And I found out that oats, if you eat oats like dry oats because i was putting just literally the oats over my my bread my best my uh, fruit it is not good it's better you put it in water getting wet then you spend a little bit and it make easy to your body digest that oats so if you had a problem with burning a stomach you better sit down and why what are the products the products that you daily eat what vegetables do you eat what fruit do you eat and then you can make an experiment with you like this week i do not gonna eat these vegetables and you see how your body respond to that and then you can find out what specific uh, vegetables or fruits cause cause you the most blood in stomach so for you have an idea um i google here uh hold on i google here uh they show me 13 foods that cause blood in stomach One is the beans, beans, lentils, carbonated drinks like soda, wheat like bread, wheat, broccoli, onions, barley, ray, dairy, apples, garlic, sugar alcohols, beer and 
yes and it's a beard it's in another kind but they don't specific what others so this kind of the uh food that can cause bloody uh for those ones i guess i eat beans and lentils and because that i stop eating i usually eat almost every day so now i eat one a, a, a week i do some beans or do some lentils i don't do the same in the same week so I let my body work in that digestion and break down that sugar so my body don't gonna cause a uh, bloating stomach, right? So this is what that we had to do. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't gonna avoid, we don't gonna avoid eat the food that we love, but instead we can negotiate with ourselves and say, okay, this week I'm going to do this salad with tomato but use one day and the rest of the days i don't want to use tomato so this is the smarters that you can do you enjoy something that you love but you don't cause any trouble with your digestion right uh i found something else here which vegetables cause the most bloating that is really important one is garlic and we usually we usually put garlic to meat to chicken to to salads to everything but we try to put less garlic if you don't want cut the garlic but once of the uh, vegetables that cause more bloating are garlic, onions, cauliflower, Brussels, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, mushrooms. There you are. Mushrooms, and I found out that mushrooms are really, really bad for my body. That was so crazy how I was. I mean, I can see in the mirror, and my body was like this that I was 100 sure that was my diet. I eat something, and because I kind of like. Uh, I know uh, a specific what kind of food I eat because I cook at home. I was 100% sure that was uh, the uh, mushrooms. And yes, what was the mushrooms? Now, there are some vegetables, right? That can help you avoid that bloating or some products that can help you avoid that bloating. And... I'm going to tell you those, those vegetables that help you avoid cucumber, fennel, greens such as spinach, and I love spinach. I eat spinach every single day without uh, eggs in my breakfast. Green beans, lettuce. zucchini so these vegetables help you avoid blood in stomach there are some other products that really also help you like green tea green tea help you with blood in stomach and other natural products that probably uh, you can find that in my showcase on tiktok because I put a product there that help you to blow in stomach. So if you want to avoid that big stomach that you have been working so hard, you work out, you eat healthy, but you still have a big stomach, you have to check yourself, write, write what vegetables, fruit, what food are you eating daily and make a little experiment with you put away something this week and check how your body respond 
So you're gonna know that what specific products of vegetables or fruits are causing burning in your stomach. Also help yourself using more vegetables that avoid burning stomach like cucumber, spinach, zucchini, uh, carrots, lettuce. Um, all these vegetables are easy to your body digest so make that favor to your body. Let them a break for the yes those other hard vegetables now you have have this in mind these vegetables all these vegetables are really healthy right cauliflower broccoli but they have some sugar a specific sugar that is really hard for our body to digest so for that reason we have to be more cautious and giving a break to our body to digest that and then we're gonna have a really a huge change in our body i hope that you uh try this experiment it's kind of easy you just write in a little paper what vegetables do you eat and check if you are eating this kind of vegetable that causes bloating avoid that for some a days or a week and then you're gonna see what change you notice in your body and then you make some change in your diet also help yourself with water drink water daily avoid soda soda also causes bloating stomach uh, do exercise if you cannot do daily do at least three times a, a week you don't have necessary to go to the gym not everybody loves the gym you can exercise at home there are some routines that you can do easily at home for upper body for abs for legs you can check in youtube you can find a, a hundreds hundreds of exercises you can check my channel uh, that you can find that in the link on TikTok, also in the link here on YouTube. You you can help your body be better every day. You have learned to recognize what is the best for your body. That way you're gonna find and you can get a lot of change that you have been kind of like daily deal without any results without know what is the reason why you never lost weight. And one of that is uh, our diet. Like I told you before, we don't know, sometimes we think that we are eating healthy, but we don't know what food can really hurt our body without, without know that. So like I told you before, it in it sets too much of something can create uh, for our body sometimes like reactions by reactions allergies I don't talk about that if you're gonna eat this for long for this year you're gonna get an uh, uh, allergy or, or bad reaction I talk about years and years like all our, our childhood younger and then when we get all then we cannot tolerate eat bananas or we cannot tolerate eat chicken or we cannot tolerate eat whatever and it's because so long eating the same sati thing it can hurt your your body so i recommend also always like a chain and change your diet you know don't eat the same fruits don't eat the same vegetables. The fruits and vegetables that cause uh, from blood in stomach eat in a little amount and give them a break to your body. So that way you're gonna you gonna see results. I I, I saw the results in my body and I think uh, that are worthy if you really want to have a change. So 
I hope that you also check that in Google. In Google, you can find a lot of things when you kind of like try to figure out about uh, food, about nutrition, about tips to eat healthy. You, all these things you can just find out on Google and you sit down and do research and do the best for your body. So I hope that you like this video guys and that is all. Cha, cha, cha. It's okay. It's okay. You get all it. It's just good. Do you know this? Do you know how you clean? Yeah? Of course. <laughs> I must, I must put you, you, I, my. Okay, we good. We're going to play some ball with mommy. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Good doggy. Bring the ball here, Matthew. Yeah? You ready? Are you ready? Okay, there we go. So, ready? Oh, good boy. The ball there, little girl. My ball. I can get the ball. Matthew, get it. I Matthew, good job. Okay. I guess Matthew loves me outside. He's down here. Your brother? Your brother is outside alone. No, oh, that is a progress. Try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called Crazy. education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Sometimes I'm high, other 
the thoughts I'm barely breathing off. 